A Wyoming Valley Conference Division I matchup here tonight on Service Electric TV. The Wolfpack of Wilkes-Barre take on the Pittston area Patriots. Paul Garrity here with you tonight. Wilkes-Barre area in the home white uniforms, Pittston area in red. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting Pittston area Patriots coming in with a 5-11 overall record. They start a couple of freshmen. Number one is Lucas Lepresto. And number 24, Aiden Lynn, both get the start tonight for veteran head coach Al Semenza. Paul Jordan McGarry is their leading scorer. He's number 23. And the rounding out the starting five is number 32, Kieran Bilbo. And the junior, number 14, Matt Walter. Wilkes-Barre area coming in undefeated in Division I of the Wyoming Valley Conference. Winners of their last 13 straight. They're 13 and three overall. They go with Capri Cottle, number zero, and Evan Layborn body in the backcourt wearing number four, with David Januzzi, the third guard, and their second leading scorer, the sophomore, wears number two. Melvin Egbedo wears number one, and Yariel Argueda is number 10. Egbedo picks up the early foul. Egbedo's listed as the center in the starting lineup. Five feet, 11 inches tall. It's a small small starting five for Wilkes-Barre tonight. As the Patriots turn it over, here is Cottle met at the rim. And Bilbo brings it down for Pittston. Patriots will likely try to make this into a half court basketball game. And I would imagine that Wilkes-Barre would want to get out and run at every chance they get. Walter misses the shot and a travel on the rebound called against Bilbo. No score, just over a minute and a half into the contest. Argueda. Back to Januzzi, a little eight foot pull up. And a leaping rebound comes down to Bilbo. Januzzi guards Lepresto on the perimeter. And that's gonna be a travel against the freshman guard. Pittston area has lost seven of their last eight games, coming off a 23-point loss to Hazleton the other night. And there's a traveling called against the Wolfpack. I didn't quite see that one. It's a couple travels so far that I don't know that would have been called by a lot of officials, so they might be whistling that a little closer than usual tonight. Still no score. We've played more than two and a half minutes. And that's gonna be a travel there. That one would have been called by darn near any official. Hopefully every official would have called that. Still goose eggs up on the board, 5.15 to play in the first. Januzzi working against Lepresto. Here's Cottle left free to fire. Capri Cottle, it's a triple. Finally breaks the seal and it's three nothing Wolfpack. This is McGarry for three. He's made a lot of them this year. He's made 43 point shots in Pittston 16 games.
Cottle, nice find underneath. Egberto the finish. Capri Cottle heating things up in the last couple of possessions and it's five nothing Wilkesbury. Offensive foul called against Bilbo. Egbeto stood in there and took the contact. One foul against each team now. Here's Evan Layborn Body, the leading scorer on the Wolfpack squad. Doesn't get that one. And a nice weak side rebound by McGarry. This is Aiden Lynn, one of those two freshmen for Al Semenza. And miscommunication there, McGarry not anticipating that delivery. Second time these two teams have matched up this season. It was a 65-38 win for Wilkes-Barre up in Pittston the first time as Cottle Bangs home another. Timeout Patriots. 3.31 to play, opening period. Wilkes-Barre eight and Pittston nothing. Some full court pressure here by the pack out of the timeout as they lead eight to nothing. Lopresto guarded still by Januzzi. Down low to Walter, stripped away, Egbeto, quick hands. And will stay with the Patriots. Pittston runs as many set plays as any team in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Lopresto digging through. Agbeto grabs the miss. Januzzi, nice little crossover. 10-0 Wolfpack, 2.27 to play in the opening stanza. Bilbo the jumper, Pittston ice cold to start. I think that's a good no call in the lane and there's another three delivered this time by Argeta. Al Semenza better be careful. I thought that was a good no call. I didn't think there was enough contact there to blow the whistle. And a 13-0 Wilkes-Barre area lead with 2.08 to play in the first.
Chris Scavo has checked into the game for Pittston area. Outside shooting threat off the Patriot bench. Here is Scavo here, now Walter, guarded there by Argueta. And the lid's still on the rim. Here is Scavo with that smooth stroke. They call it a three. I thought he might have had a toe on the line, but the official right on top of it. And Scavo just off the bench. Gets Pittston on the board, it's 13 to three. Some uncharacteristic turnover issues in this quarter by Pittston. With a young team that's to be expected. Mike Keating is into the game for the Wolfpack. Number five in white. Channing Brown is also on the floor, number 14 for Jim LeVan and the Wolfpack. 115 in the first. Wilkes-Barre has a 13-3 advantage. Here's Brown. Doesn't waste any time and a good weak side rebound by Matt Walter. Pittston with a little bit of a size advantage in this game, just has to avoid turnovers, get some shots up at the rim and crash the boards as Aiden Lynn spins through the lane. Foul on the other end. Five straight points now for Pittston. Foul called against Matt Walter, his first. Just the second against the Patriots. Evan Laybourne body, despite missing multiple games early in the season, one of the leading scorers in the Wyoming Valley Conference and the leading scorer on this Wolfpack team. Fifteen five lead, thirty eight ticks remaining here in the first. Layborn body couldn't quite cut off the sideline there. As they'll play for one with twenty seconds to play in the period. Down to nine seconds now for Lynn. McGarry with four seconds left. Here's Walter. Rejected by Laybourne Body at the horn. Cold shooting by the Patriots in the first half in the first quarter. And after one, they trail Wilkesbury 15 to 5. You're watching high school basketball on Service Electric TV. Patriots trying to avoid their eighth loss in their last nine games here tonight. Well, Wilkesbury tries to keep this 13-game win streak go alive. 
We'll have the Wolfpack again on Friday night right here on Service Electric TV as they take on the Cougars of Hazleton. 7.15 tip off on Friday night. Wolfpack, despite the 13 game win streak, still not the top seed right now in Class 6A. That designation belongs to the Scranton Knights who have an identical 13 and three record to Wilkes-Barre. And McGarry elevates over Januzzi and scores. 15-7 Wolfpack. And a quick, are they gonna get a foul? No, just out of bounds. They spread it out for Januzzi. Oh, the quick move on McGarry. Just too quick there. That's a mismatch from the way that play looked. Second field goal for the sophomore guard. It's 17-7 Wolfpack. Here's McGarry getting the angle against Brown. Goes to the bank for the second straight time, 17-9 Wolfpack. Januzzi creates space and called for the offensive foul. Looked like a pretty good call from here. Januzzi definitely kind of lowered the shoulder and gave himself a little room. And a travel whistled on Lynn. Pittston through the years under Al Semenza since he took over has not been a team that has turned the ball over much, but turn it over almost the entire starting lineup from a year ago. Still working through some of the kinks on the offensive end. Layborn body, cut off by Walter. Here's Mike Keating, first touch he's had, and makes it count. Little 10 foot turnaround. Back to a double figure lead, 19-9, now a steal. Argueda, the finish. Biggest lead of the game at 12. And another steal. This time, Leiborn body, look out. Not sure that's what he wanted there, but it counts just the same, and the Patriots will take another timeout. Game getting away from Al Semenza and his squad. 5.57 to play in the half. They trail the Wolfpack 23-9 on Service Electric TV. Another steal on the pressure. And again, they turn the turnover into points. Argeta, his second triple of the game. It's 26 to nine. McGarry in a straight jacket. Somehow gets it away. And another steal. Up ahead, Egbeto. All Wilkes-Barre here on their home floor. 
Turnovers, way too many if you're the Patriots. Egbeto the finish on the other end. Al Semenza's nothing he can do. He's already used three timeouts. And they give it away again. Lopresto returns along with Stephen Barnick into the game for the first time for the Patriots. Wolfpack scored the first 13 points of the game. And they've never looked back. It's 30 to nine. Four thirty-nine to play before the break. Layborn body, line drive off front rim. Walter another board. Scavo down low for Walter, and he's grabbed by Layborn body. Second team foul against the Wolfpack. First against Leiborn Body. Walter probing against Keating. Doesn't get the roll. And it'll stay with Pittston. Bilbo over Cottle. Good hustle there to track down the board and Scavo brings some rain and brings some net. Second triple for Scavo off the bench. He's got half of the Patriots 12 points. Layborn body, a little skip through the lane. Thirty-two to twelve. Walter, a size mismatch against Januzzi, but Dave got a hand in there. Lopresto with a quickness advantage over Keating. Lucas Lopresto off the window, that's his first basket. It's 32 to 14. Keating goes crashing into the lane. Egbeto cleans up the miss. Game high, eight points for Melvin Egbeto, and I believe all four baskets have come from right at the rim. And the Patriots continue to have issues with ball security. Laybourne body. Nice dump down for Brown. Surrounded and fouled. Paul Jordan McGarry back in the game for the Patriots. One more for Channing Brown. This one has never been close. At least not yet, Laybourne body. Nice step back, but a little wide right. 
2.05 to play before the half. Scavo pressured by Cottle. Here's McGarry. That's a good shot, but it didn't go down. Laybourne body. Oh, their Pittston players' backs were to the basketball, and Laybourne body saw that and took it right to the rim. Smart play there by Evan. He's got eight, and it's a 23-point cushion. Lepresto a straight on three. Nice save by Scavo. And the three ball from McGarry. Third three point shot of the game for the Patriots. The lead is 20. Agbeto, hesitant move. Wasn't all that explosive, but he was able to maneuver his way in right to the rim. First player in the game in double figures is Melvin Agbeto. 39-17 Wolfpack. Barnick somehow kept his pivot foot alive. Scavo, tough runner, moving to his left. And we'll see if Wilkesbury wants to play for one now. 22 seconds to play in the second. Six different players have made a field goal for Jim LeVan. Seven players have scored in the game. Januzzi with nine seconds. They spread it out against Lepresto. Layborn body from way downtown and a good defensive possession by Pittston. We've hit halftime here at the home of the Wolfpack. And it's been all Wilkes-Barre here in the first half. They lead Pittston 39 to 17. You're watching High School Basketball on Service Electric TV. Paul Garrity back with you. Start of the second half here at Wilkes-Barre Area High School. The Wolfpack holding a commanding 39 to 17 lead over the Pittston area Patriots. Melvin Egbeto led the way in the first half with 10 points. Capri Cottle knocked down a couple early three-point shots as Wilkes-Barre area scored the first 13 points of the game. Here's Yariel Argueda who made a couple from the long distance in the first half, doesn't get that one. Pittston area was led by their leading scorer for the season, Paul Jordan McGarry, who checked in with seven. Chris Scavo had six off the bench. Patriots did not attempt a single free throw in the first two quarters. Januzzi finds Argueda navigating through the paint. Yariel Argueda. Has had a nice game tonight. Nine points, or check that, 10 now. Nice look from the freshman Lepresto. And Karen Bilbo will finally get Pittston to the line for the first time tonight. This game looking a lot like the first time these two teams played. Early in the year back at Pittston Area High School. A 27 point win for Wilkes-Barre in that one. Forty-one seventeen, Wolfpack. Layborn body gets past Walter Egbeto. I think that slipped out of his hands on the way up. Lepresto, nice catch and finish. 
Second basket for Lucas Lopresto tonight. It's 41-19. Wilkes Barre area has done a nice job taking care of the ball tonight. They have very few turnovers. Here's Januzzi spotting up. Yes. David Januzzi, the sharpshooter. Knocks it down from distance and a timeout on the floor. 6.06 to play in the third. Wolfpack lead it by 25 on Service Electric TV. Egberto crashing through the paint. Lopresto the other way for Pittston. McGarry off target. But another nice save by Walter and there's a travel against Paul Jordan McGarry. Channing Brown back in the game for the pack replacing Egberto. We'll take a night off from our high school basketball coverage tomorrow night. We'll be back at it on Thursday from Kingston as the Lake Lehman girls take on Wyoming Seminary. Should be a really good one on Thursday night and then another one Friday here at Wilkes-Barre area as the Wolfpack boys take on Hazleton. Maybe the best two teams in the Wyoming Valley Conference. 7-15 starts for both of them on Thursday and Friday night. 44-19 Wilkes-Barre, and Laybourne Body finds Cottle underneath. Off another Pittston turnover, it's 46-19. Scavo, it's been the bright spot for the Patriots tonight, his third three. And all three have Ben really with quick releases. There's Cottle. And it's 48 to 22. Walter powering up with the left. Dangles off and Brown rips it down for Wilkesbury. Foul before the Januzzi shot. First against Lucas Lopresto for Pittston. Mike Keating back in the game for the pack. Januzzi beats Lopresto off the dribble. Pittston area's limited Januzzi's outside shooting opportunities tonight, but he's done a nice job penetrating. About a 75% free throw shooter on the year is Januzzi. Splits a pair there, 49-22. Mercy rule, strong possibility here midway through the third. McGarry crashing in and called for traveling. It's gotta be about at least six traveling calls against the Patriots tonight. You can give credit to the Wolfpack defense for some of those, including that one. Three fifty-five to play in the third. 
Again, Januzzi getting to the rim. Tough shot. Walter backing down. Wow, is that a tough look? Bilbo couldn't finish the putback. Nope, we might have an unruly fan in the Wilkes-Barre area student section. Three seventeen to play. Keating to put us into the mercy rule. We'll have to wait a little longer. Brown attacks. The putback from Argueta. Fifty-one twenty-two. Bilbo muscling up, rejected by Keating. Keating trying to finish on the other end. Argueta, the putback. We have reached mercy rule territory with 2.40 to play in the third quarter. Wilkes-Barre area looking sharp. They lead Pittston by 31. Three twenty-two lead for Wilkes-Barre as we'll have a running clock for the rest of the game regardless of what happens on the scoreboard. Wilkes-Barre with the win tonight will go to 14 and three. They haven't lost since their first three games of the campaign. Walter denied by Brown with a second effort from Matt Walter. 51, or check that, 53-24. Walter fouled here on the rebound. This will be Pittston's eighth loss in their last nine games for this young squad, and they'll drop to five and 12 on the year. Steal by Jordan Valentin, who just checked in. Keating in rhythm. Back rim miss, Aiden Lynn snags it for the Patriots. Aiden Clark is in the game for Pittston. Number three in red. Walter, that little jump hook hasn't been there for him tonight. Laybourne body, a step back three. He likes that, but he's been struggling with that of late, at least in the games I've seen. One oh nine to play in the third. Januzzi fires and hits. Efficient game tonight for Wilkes-Barre's second leading score. A quiet 11 points on not very many shots. 56-24 Wolfpack. Barnick. Too strong, Lynn gets clobbered by Laybourne Body. Four, 
First trip to the line for Aiden Lynn tonight. Pitson's now 0 for 3 from the stripe as a team. Fifty six twenty five. Layborn body will go to work with eight seconds on the third quarter timer. Had a toe on the line. That's a good call. It was definitely a two point shot. And Bilbo. Trying to take out some folks in the last row of the stands. Wilkes-Barre area 58 and the Patriots 25 as we head to the fourth on Service Electric TV. Start of the fourth quarter here at Wilkes-Barre area. 58 to 25, Wilkes-Barre area started on a 13-0 run in the first quarter and has never really been challenged since. As they head to the winner's circle for the 14th straight time. Second effort goes down for Stephen Barnick off the missed free throws. 58-28. Three ball hoisted up. Rebound hauled in by John Jadis who is just into the game for Pittston. Not sure what the issue is there if they call to travel or. But it'll be Pittston ball down 30. Clark. Rebound ripped down by Brown. Probably seen the last of at least most of the starters tonight for Jim Levan. Valentin, nifty move, but couldn't get the bounce. Pretty good ball movement here by the Patriots on this possession, but Jadis can't get the easy one. A nice save back to Brown. 5.29 to play in the fourth. Keating got it slapped away by Walter. Lynn, awkward little shot in the lane, rolls off and Keating grabs the miss.
Walter will try one from deep and hit. Matt Walter has been reluctant to shoot from outside tonight, but look confident there. 58-31, Wilkes-Barre. Valentin. Rayleigh really, Ramirez checks into the game for the Wolfpack. With four and a half to play. Walter starting to feel it now in the fourth. All seven of his points have come since halftime. Here's Nashalem Ford, yes! It's a three. Crowd got exactly what they wanted from Ford. It's a 61-33 game. Noah Smith is in the game for Wilkes-Barre and that's the way it's gone tonight for the Patriots. Lepresto got a good look but couldn't get it. Jacob Johnson is in the game as well for Wilkes-Barre area, number 15. As we wind things down to 2.35 to play, the second half has gone by like lightning. Been in the mercy rule since midway through the third quarter. Presto finds an open Clark. Good defensive work by the Wolfpack, but Lepresto slithers inside and scores. Six points tonight for the Patriot freshman point guard. Johnson for three. Smith working hard, but can't secure it. 143 to play in the game. Clark for three, book it for Aiden Clark. Patriots have actually outscored Wilkes-Barre since the game has gone to the running clock. Here's Johnson, yes. Wolfpack going deep into the bench. Some guys looking good here in the final minutes. Braden Shotwell checks in the game for Pittston area along with Steven Penazar. Adris Salahuddin is also in the game, number 33, along with Brady Bilbo, number 25. And rounding out the lineup is Mason Scouten for Pittston, number 30. Up ahead, Ramirez, the finish. 35 seconds to play. Wilkes-Barre gets their 14th straight win. I think a lot of people thought the Wolfpack were gonna be good this year. Not sure a lot of people expected 14 straight wins at any point. Looks like Wilkes-Barre is gonna let the clock 
run out on a 66 to 38 victory here at home. Our next broadcast will be Thursday night from Kingston as Lake Lehman takes on Wyoming Seminary in girls basketball. And then we'll have this Wolfpack team again on Friday as the Wolfpack boys take on Hazleton. For Scott Cannon, our cameraman, I'm Paul Garrity. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody.